morning everybody. It's noisy in the house here this morning. The wife's got the vacuum cleaner on. The fire's going because it's cold. It was six degrees when I hopped out of bed this morning. Oh, well. Yes, the hot water service is going. There we go, it's uh, eight minutes past ten. And the last night it was it got cold really quick and we had the fire going and the reverse cycle air conditioning going pumping heat into the house. Um I'll just sit down on this chair quickly. Now some I've been talking to some friends of mine on Skype like I usually do. I've got lots of uh, time to talk to friends. And one of them um, sent me some... Uh, he just had a new install of a Vitron Multiplex 2 or something it is, it's called. Because the most common question I get asked is, why would you go for a deer? And after all my research, um, I mean the deers aren't cheap. That, that one I've got in there was just over $3,600. Alright, but I wanted one unit that did it all, including programming and um, giving me all the logs and uh, telling me exactly what, what we're up to, even when I'm away in the bush, without having to buy all these friggin' add-ons. Now, um, anyway, my mate in Queensland sent me these videos because he, he's not real happy with his new Victron, um, mainly because of the noise it makes, like it's outside in a shed, and he says, Chris, he says, I can hear it inside, I can hear it inside, I can hear the hum of the damn thing, and I said, well, go out and video it for me. Um, and this first video clip is one with the inverter going under normal load. Okay, that was sounded pretty bloody awful to me. And this second video clip, uh, you can hear his birds singing, he's got lots of birds, he's in Queensland, all wild, not caged. Anyway, this uh, second clip is, is under load, um, and you can hear the fan and everything going, and I mean, I've never heard anything like this before, ever. Alright, so, that's pretty bloody awful. What did his uh, installer say? Um, he had the installer back, and his installer said, no, it's working fine. And he said, well, what about that bloody racket? He said, that's quite common for these inverters. Quite honestly, I didn't know what to say to him. I had no idea what to say to him at all. He's unhappy and I would be very unhappy as well. Anyway, that's uh, after all my research, I decided to go for this deer. Okay, like you can hear. You know, we've got a lot of load on this right now. A lot of load. Okay. Listen, I've got the microphone right at the back of the inverter. I'm right next to the inverter. I'm in front of the inverter with the microphone. I'm on the other side of the inverter with the microphone. I don't know about you, but I can't hear it. Um, and we do have some decent loads on right now. Uh, the batteries are at 79%. 
we have Um, a 1600, 1800, there we go, up and down. Watt load on it, we've used 2.5 kilowatts today already, and we've used 36.3 kilowatt hours since the install. Um, temperature. Lukewarm. It's not hot at all, people. Okay, now remember I showed you this. It's very industrial. It's got four inch aluminium cooling uh, fins, four inches deep. They go the full length of the unit. Um, it's got no internal fans at all. This is sealed. This is a sealed unit with rubber seals and um, you know, it's fully sealed. It's got one 80 millimeter, 80 millimeter fan, and I think the other one might be a 60 or a 40. So it's got two little tiny fans at the back of it. I've never heard them run. And after our research, we, uh, and as all know, I'd like to do a lot of research before I spend any money. Alright, so I researched the batteries. Um, I've got the people I know in Queensland have had these batteries should say first appeared on the market. Uh, they're big square things, they're not as sleek as these ones. they got the older versions. Um, and they've had no problem at all with them. They just do the, do the job. Uh, Ziggy and I are still blown away by how they're recovering. We we're actually at 60%. When we hopped out of bed this morning, we were at 60% state of charge. We're now at 79% state of charge. Um, we are totally blown away. Totally, totally blown away. But what do I actually need to do while I'm out here is uh, put this sign. on that meter box over there. On the front meter box, I've got a yellow sign, a warning sign that says um, isolate the inverter from the other, other, bo other box. And this one just, I just have to stick this one on here. So they know that's the box it's got to be isolated from if they are working on the house. Another little legal requirement that covers my butt and the insurance company's butt. Alright, so there you go. There's a little video. Well, it's not so little, but... And I rattled on a bit. But that's basically why I chose the deer over the others. Um, let's face it, they're not really commercially built, are they, the others? Uh, commercial, I mean heavy duty for heavy duty commercial use. Um, and I know a lot of boaties that will not use Victron gear in their boats anymore, um, purely because of the heat and everything else uh, involved with the Victron stuff and it blowing up, so-called air-cooled uh, things blowing up. You, ha you have to put a fan on them. You have to put a fan on them. Why don't they put a fan on them? That would save all this problem. The same mate that's got this noisy multiplex has also had, uh, so far, he's had two Victron charge controllers replaced under warranty for that exact reason. I said, dude, you've got to put a fan in there, man. You're going to keep on blowing them. You've got to put a fan in there. <coughs> anyway, there's the... Uh, a quick video for you. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, by all means, sum it down. Um, leave some sort of a comment or an emoji uh, because that really, really does help my channel grow. And please remember, uh, summing it up or down also helps my channel grow. So, you know, I'm not one of those people that get hung up on uh, people summing me videos down. Hey. You know, go for it if that 
what's you know what turns you on yeah whatever whatever keeps us all happy people okay keep safe everyone Bye.